Hey everyone, today we will be making this delicious crab cake scampi. This pasta was so freaking delicious. It complements the crab cake so well. I can't wait to show you guys, so let's get started with the video. In a pan over medium heat, add olive oil. Then add 1 4th cup of diced onions and 1 4th cup of diced bell peppers. Season your bell peppers and onions with salt and pepper and then saute them for about 5 minutes. When you're finished, set them to the side. Next, in a bowl, add 1 4th cup of mayonnaise. 1 teaspoon of Dijon mustard, 1 teaspoon of lemon juice, 2 teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, 1 and a half teaspoons of Old Bay hot sauce, a half a teaspoon of pepper, 1 fourth teaspoon of onion powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 fourth teaspoon of Creole seasoning, 1 tablespoon of parsley, and one beaten egg. Mix all these ingredients together until well combined. Next, add about one pound of crab meat, a half a cup of breadcrumbs, your bell peppers and onions from before, and one fourth cup of green onions. Fold all these ingredients together until well combined. When you're finished, take a handful of your crab mixture and shape it into half a sphere. When you finish shaping your crab cakes, place them on a baking sheet and then put them in the oven to bake at 450 degrees for 15 minutes. While our crab cakes are cooking in the oven, we are going to start making our scampi. In a pan over medium heat, melt two tablespoons of butter. Then add a half a cup of panko breadcrumbs. Cook your breadcrumbs for four to six minutes or until golden brown. Once you have toasted your breadcrumbs, set them to the side. Next, in a large pot, add salt. Bring the water to a boil and add your pasta noodles. Cook your pasta noodles for however long it says to on the box. Next, in a large pan, add olive oil. Then add 1 4th cup of diced onions. Saute your onions for about 5 minutes. Then add 1 4th teaspoon of red pepper flakes and 1 tablespoon of minced garlic. Saute everything together for about 30 seconds to a minute. After that, add 1 cup of white wine. Continue to cook the wine for about three minutes. Then add six tablespoons of butter. Once the butter has melted, add the juice of one lemon. A bit of pasta water. One fourth teaspoon of salt. 1 4th teaspoon of pepper, 1 4th teaspoon of Old Bay, and a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Mix all these ingredients together until well combined. Once 
Once you finish making your sauce, add your pasta noodles. Once your pasta is mixed in, add some Italian seasoning and one tablespoon of parsley. And that's it, you finish making your scampi pasta. Your crab cakes should be finished cooking, so go ahead and take them out of the oven. Once you've taken them out of the oven, brush them with some melted butter. Now you can go ahead and plate everything up. Use the breadcrumbs we toasted before and sprinkle them all over your pasta. Then add some shredded parmesan cheese and parsley to your crab cake and pasta. And this is the finished result! This was so delicious. The scampi pasta complements the crab cake perfectly in my opinion. And the toasted breadcrumbs adds a really nice crunch to it. The crab cake tasted great as well. I like adding lemon juice to my crab cake so the lemony flavor from the pasta went with the crab cake so well. I was inspired to make this after seeing Kimmy's Creation make a crab cake scampi and hers looked so good. She has a lot of good recipes. I'll have her TikTok and YouTube channel linked in the description below. This was so good and I totally recommend giving it a try. Alright, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everything I used in this video will be down in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!